Hi, this is uh, Bob from Hobby Concepts back with part three of my Hemet trailer build. As you can see, I've got the decking on, I got the suspension done, uh, I've got a lot of updates since part two, so uh, I'm pretty excited about it. It's working pretty good. Uh, let's get started. As I left off um, part two, I had my suspension kind of put together. And um, I've discovered an issue which a couple of people asked me about and uh, helped me out with. I appreciate my viewers telling me what's going on. And that is the fact that when a leaf spring springs, it gets longer. Okay, not a problem on the outside here, but on the inside, it doesn't, this doesn't flex up because these springs are trying to get longer and they can't because of the bolts. If I pull this pin out, you know, now it has good spring, but this is loose. So what I need to do is figure out how to hook this to this and be able to go back and forth. I could probably slot this and that might be a way to do it. The other one would be to put a link in here that pivots um, to allow the, the spring motion this direction. So I'm going to play with that for a little while and see how we do there. You'll also notice that I cut the back of this to the correct angle and I also cut the length to what is going to be the finished length. So I've been working on these uh, a little bit. So I'm going to play with this and see what uh, I can come up with. I took my my part there and slotted it and that does the trick. It slides back and forth in the slot. Everything kind of self-aligns now. They all sit smooth on the floor. I've got a little cleanup to do in that slot. Smooth it out. I've got to slot the other side and uh, that got my suspension working like it's supposed to. So, uh, I'll slot the other side, we'll get those put together and talk about the decking. Well, I've got both of my blocks cut, I've got all the suspension put together. Again, everything's loose so that I can take it apart, but you can see how well that slot works. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. Uh, everything works. The bogies will go over bumps just fine. Got both of my frame rails here and uh, I checked the clearances. The tires will fit good. I do need to add the shocks front and back. I'm going to do that here pretty quick. Also, I started working on the deck. I took a sheet of the aluminum that came in the kit and I, uh, I bolted a piece of wood to my uh, workbench edge and just Bend it up until it matched the angle on the drawing, and that angle matches good there. As I mentioned earlier, I cut the frame rails, and then this will mount on the rail. And that'll give it some extra support. I'll mount the back, the back end of that. This is too narrow. The trailer is actually wider, but this is going to give me a good base to work from. So uh, I'll be drilling some holes in this and drilling through the frame rails. Uh, but first, I'm going to go ahead and drill these frame rails for the uh, shocks and get those put together and put on. Just thought I'd show how I've been measuring and drilling these holes. I'm using the channel that came with the to me a trailer kit, so I'm just going to line up that on the three holes for the side bracket. And then I can mark my shock hole. And then I can punch it with my center punch, which I'll probably have to do off the edge of the camera because it's got to be on the hard part of the workbench. We'll do the 
same thing on the front here. Line those up. Mark the shock mounting hole. And center punch it. So I got my shocks built. I guess they're not really shocks or dampers. So I'll drill those holes and get those mounted. Got the uh, dampers mounted, both sides. Suspension works great. Everything lines up. The axles move independently just fine. Uh, I'm really happy with how the suspension turned out. So now I can, uh, I've got that all basically pieced together. Now I can turn my attention to the top deck. As I mentioned earlier, I had bent this, this piece here and it is ready to fit in place and this is just some of the Tamiya decking that came with the, the original Tamiya flatbed trailer kits so I am going to measure that and drill some holes in it and then drill holes in this frame and uh, bolt that down and that should give me a real strong you can see how the Hopefully you can see how the back fits here. Uh, and that should give me a real strong, uh, solid first part of the trailer. So get ready to do the decking. Um, I've been taking a look at this drawing right here. And what I've done is I've ended my, my beams right here at the end of the deck. This bracket comes out and holds the arms that swing the, the nose down. So I'm going to use a piece of this Camilla aluminum bolted to the bottom of the, of the deck. And I'm going to cut it so the end comes out. In order to do that, the trailer is really wide up here. As you can see, it's much wider than the decking. And I want this piece to be right here where, where the uh, brackets come out. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take a piece of this aluminum and cut it this direction. Just kind of show you what my thinking is going on here. I'm going to cut it this direction. Then I'm going to nut cut another one this direction to give me an underlayment that's as wide as this so I can bolt these brackets to the bottom and come out here where the where the neck is. And then uh, have my thinner piece in the back. Even though it's not wide enough, I'm going to, it's going to be my sub deck. I'm going to put something over the top of it. So, what that means is I've actually got to cut this piece shorter so that I can get this section and this section to fit. So I'm going to cut this piece and then I'm going to cut two pieces out of here crossways and then I'll bolt it all down. So that's what I'm thinking. Also, I got this really nice sheet of uh, diamond plate aluminum from RC Four Wheel Drive. There's two, two sheets in here which should be enough to do all the diamond plate decking. There's diamond plate back here on the back part and then on this uh, part that folds down. So I'll cut those diamond plate pieces out of here and I'll use the Tamiya wood that came with the flatbed trailers to do the wood decking. So that's what we're working on right now. I'm going to cut those pieces and we'll see how this looks. Okay, I, uh, I cut these pieces. Just important uh, to note that I don't really have any fancy metalworking tools. I just cut these on a bandsaw and then sanded the edges on my um, disc sander. Because I'm going to be putting a, a, something over the top of this, I'm going to countersink the holes I drilled. And I'm just going to use a standard countersink bit.
Okay, so that plate will then mount like this. I will go ahead and line that up and drill some holes. So I've got that one and that one. And then this back plate, I will also have to cut to fit in there. Starting to look like a trailer. Here's the result with the decking bolted on. Now I've got something solid I can work with. This decking is just going to be the sub-decking. I'll be going over the top of this, but it allows me to bolt everything up and get it solid. Uh, everything looks pretty good. I don't have a lot of bolts in here because when I bolt the, the decking above this on, I'm going to go through the same frame, so I'll be double bolting drawing here. This lays on here. And then I've got this piece which I'm going to trim off on the front here and will go out to hold the bracketry that holds the nose on. I'll be cutting that back here. So that'll be uh, in the next video. But I'm pleased with how the suspension came out and how everything's working. I think I'll actually put the tires on it and roll it over something to see how the suspension works. I've got the uh, tires mounted on it. I just wanted to do a quick test, so I put a bump here on my workbench. And I threw a book on here to add some weight. And you can kind of see how the suspension works. Well, hopefully you can see it. It works good, um, just like it's supposed to. And has good spring. Uh, the tire's clear. I'm happy with how that all is going together. Now I can start working on the deck. So, that is the uh, going to be the end of part three. And when I come back, we'll start working on the the gooseneck and the front end um, and see how that goes. But interesting build. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see the rest of this plus a couple other uh, upcoming Tamiya projects that will be here soon. Thanks for watching.